Hello, welcome to Episode by Episode, I'm V3, and uh, today we're still talking about The Batman Season 1. Yeah, very good season so far, but it's about to get better. Part 1 of the season finale, Episode 12, The Rubber Face of Comedy. Yes, uh, it's called that because the halves of the season finale uh, portray the spirits of drama, spirits of acting, comedy, tragedy. And the first one is representing comedy. It's a big, a big comedy, and the next one it will be tragedy. Whew, and they're both good. Uh, this episode is Joker. He's the baddie. You also have Punch and Judy, who are his henchmen in this one. And he creates this invention called Joker Putty. You turn anything into this, this putty material, very comic-like. Uh, I kind of like this Joker. I really just don't like the way he looks, though. I don't like his character design. That circus straight jacket thing. Eh. Don't really care for that. But, you know. Whatever. No big deal. I like his personality and cool little comic y inventions. But, uh, it's got this. Uses it on a bank vault. Bank vault turns to putty. They just kind of push it aside. Get the money and stuff out. And they escape turns his henchman's sh shoes into like this putty and their van in the putty uh, they throw the van, it bounces away and then they bounce away on their shoes so they, it didn't melt uh, the consistency if this putty isn't consistent, I guess writing wise but, you know Batman's on the case Batman's always on the case but the chief of police doesn't like Batman on the case in fact, for these freaks, as he calls them, uh, are now going to be part of a no-tolerance policy. Because people, they've been kind of being lenient on the Batman, and Ethan, you know, who's one of the detectives, he and Detective Yin, have, haven't really got much headway in the Batman cases, because he is kind of rooting for the Batman, and she's trying to take the Batman down, and it's kind of conflicting, and so their unit doesn't work real well. Unless, of course, they're working against someone else, in which case they're a fantastic team. But, the thing is, this, this mass policy goes up, and Ethan chooses to bring the Batman in, because he cares about his job, and he really does care about the law and what's right. Well, they go atop to the statue that Joker originally was going to bust his balloon on in Episode 1 of this season. If you remember that, if not, you can go watch uh, Episode 1 of Episode by Episode, where we talk about that. And, uh, you know, we get through that, and they go to that, they use putty on the face and morph it into a Joker face, which is to show that Joker owns the city. This is Joker City. He rules here. That's what that shows and represents. They even say that in the show. The chief of police says that, so it's really obvious. But, you know, Batman fights them there, uh, kind of accidentally knocks Ethan off the scaffolding and stuff, and... He chooses to save him instead of stopping the Joker, obviously. Detective Yin helps also. And Detective Ethan kind of gets blamed for stuff that isn't really his fault or isn't really true. Because uh, the chief of police is just kind of a bastard and doesn't really uh, listen to anybody else. Even when their job depends on it because he threatens to suspend Ethan if he keeps supporting the Batman and doesn't arrest him. So, after two attempts, like, to arrest the Batman and stuff, you know, he gets suspended nor towards the end of the episode. But before that, Joker kidnaps him when he goes to Joker's hideout to apprehend him. And Joker pretty much tortures him. Psychologically tortures him. I'm not kidding. He's trying to drive him crazy, trying to make him like the Joker. Uh didn't work exactly like Joker wanted it to. Uh, Batman and Detective Yin both show up. Because they're, they're both really great detectives. Detective Yin is as good as a detective as Batman is. And she doesn't have his gear. What does that say, huh? She's a pretty great detective. So as I said, she and Batman showed up and went and fought the Joker. And unhooked him, ran after him into his Hall of Mirrors. This episode is actually 
very much like The Killing Joke. If anyone has read The Killing Joke, uh, the Joker kidnaps Police Commissioner Gordon, tries to drive him insane, and there's uh, it's like this funhouse carnival. He traps Batman in, and he's giving him this big speech, and you kind of find out about his origins. That happened in this episode. Joker reveals that he did fall in Nevada chemicals. It did turn him into the Joker, but apparently Batman isn't the one that knocked him in. I think it was a job accident, actually. I think he actually worked for Ace Chemical and fell in. But that's why he doesn't wear makeup, because it was a chemical. He did fall in the chemical vat, so... Yeah, glad I knew that. I don't think I ever saw this episode when I was younger, so... Good to see it now. That's probably why it was so impactful when I watched it today. But, uh... Yeah, he's chasing Joker through this hall of mirrors. Joker's giving him the speech and stuff. And it really is a lot like the killing joke. Because he tortures... Uh, a lawman. A major lawman in the mythos. and It's very, very... Very, very reminiscent of the killing joke. I can... Definitely see where the killing joke came into play. Well, uh, to kind of rub the metaphor in your face, Joker's fighting with a big comedy mask, which is, you know, what he is representing. Normally, he and Batman represent those masks together, but this time, Joker and another character represent those masks. We'll get to that in a second. So, Batman and Detective Ian apprehend the Joker. Uh, the detective says that she only worked with the Batman because he saved her partner's life so much in the past day or two uh, that she felt like she owed him one, but she said, next time we meet Batman, that mask is coming off. Or that mask comes off. Something along those lines. She's gonna unmask Batman, take him to jail. Well, uh, she left with the Joker, and earlier the Joker threatened to use his putty gun on Ethan. It's gonna hurt Ethan. Well, he dropped it. Batman knocked it out of his hands with a battering, which is uh, pretty crazy because it fell and busted. And I guess when it came in contact with the air, it turned gaseous. I guess there was like a pressure thing on the gun or whatever for the putty spray, but uh, it was right next to Ethan. He breathed in a lot of that gas. And, you know, he's already beat up, and he's been tortured psychologically. He's coughing up, gets suspended, because the chief of police won't listen to Detective Yin, because she's the one that let the Batman go, but Ethan got blamed for it. And Ethan goes home, calls Bruce, says, let's shoot some hoops later. I gotta blow off some steam, get my head together. Walks to the mirror. Kinda messes with his eye like this, pulls it down, but it stays that way, and then his face starts to melt. End episode. And it's like, holy shit, Ethan's clay face. Which explains the title of the next episode and everything, but if you want to see what happens next, you can either watch the episode yourself, or watch the next episode of this show, or the, probably the best option, watch both. <laughs> Why not? That'd be pretty fantastic. Mm. But yeah, you know, that's it for this episode, you guys. If you want to tune in to the next episode, you know, just subscribe. Be sure to rate and comment as well. That's really helpful to me. And also, you know, if you have thoughts on these episodes, feel free to comment your thoughts, you know, below. That's totally fine. I'd love to hear what you guys think of these episodes if you've seen them before. But, uh... For now, please rate, comment, subscribe. Check out the cool links in the description below. Thank you all so much for your support. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you all later.